Connor, first away game of the season at Bromley tomorrow. First of all, uh, reflection on the Hartlepool win. Yeah, great win. Um, obviously, that was it. the aim before the game was to take three points. We managed to do that. Uh, I thought from probably about 10 minutes to 75, 80 minutes, we were un unbelievable. Um, we took the game away from them, obviously got ourselves 3-0 up. Obviously, we know we're disappointed with the two late goals, but the um, main thing was three points. Obviously, that's what we were taking up before the game. So, yeah, massive to get the three points. You mentioned about the disappointment that the last two goals uh, to concede that Dean wasn't happy either. What sort of things have we done this week to try and make sure that those things don't happen going forward? Uh, we addressed it after the game. The lads know. Um, what I will say is, first game of the season, there's often that nervous energy and you can feel it. Um, boys get leggy with the, the new rule, the additional time as well. I think a lot of it played into that where first game of the season, of course, people are going to be leggy a lot of the time. It's going to breed a little bit of, of nervous energy toward the end and I think that showed but the lads dug in at the end and then we got over the lines. So that's the main thing. Overall, though, uh, opening day win against a team that just come down from the league above. There was loads of st uh, standout performances on the day, but one that the supporters voted as man of the match, Addy, uh, obviously getting his goal. How did you think about his uh, opening day performance? Yeah, he was excellent. He's, um, to be fair, he had a great pre-season. Uh, it's no surprise the fans are taking to him straight away. He's, um, as I said, he's been brilliant in training. He's had a brilliant pre-season and thankfully he managed to transfer that across to the first game of the season. I thought he was excellent all day. Um, up against two really, really good players at this level, by the way, in Ray and um, Umira. Um, so, yeah, he was brilliant, obviously, to get a goal as an added bonus, but I thought defensively he was magnificent all game, yeah. Obviously, Bromley tomorrow on, on telly. What can we ex expect from them tomorrow? Listen, we always know they'll be up there every year. They'll be in around the playoffs every year. I don't think this year will be any different. Um, they've, of course, they've lost a couple, like like most teams have, with obviously Swamney moving on and Sturk going back uh, from his loan. who are both big players for them toward the end of last season. Um, so that's always hard to, to replace. But we watched them against Halifax. It weren't, it weren't much in the game. Tight game. Obviously, it's always a hard place to go as well. So we can't really read too much into that. Uh, obviously, we skip got a bang to his head. But we've monitored that all, all week. And we'll see how he is come tomorrow. But other than that, there's no other real news. Um, everyone's pretty much stayed fit all, uh, all week. And we have Beardo who's close to coming back. So it's, we're all looking in the right direction. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it stays that way for the coming weeks. Connor, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.